Greetings, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign. Now we're playing Japan in vanilla. Now we have a special mod called Expert AI 4.0. It's been recommended to me to play using that mod, Expert AI, just to see what would happen. I chose Japan in base game to try it out. So uh, normally I show you guys like the beginning of me selecting a nation um, and just talking about like the direction we can go. But I decided, you know what? Let's just get into it, just because. I don't want to waste your time. We've I've already organized the army groups. I've already organized the naval groups as well, which is really good. All these different fleets. Let's just go over here to show you. They're all training. We're going to need fuel eventually, but whatever. Let's go do a focus first. So, this is on historical AI, just because I don't know anything about the expert AI mod. So, I want to go with historical, which I think is purchased a Kodoha faction. So, a new faction has appeared. Intend to take control of the government and strike north into the Soviet Union. We must eliminate them before they can do too much damage. Um... I'm not so sure about that, uh, that this is historical, but, and we have 10 days ahead of time because it's January 10th, not January 1st. Uh, actually, that's weird. This focus, this description, is actually the same thing as this one. Support the Kodoha, or purge them. Modern Shogunate, because this one, you go to war with the Soviet Union early on. This one, you go to war with the, the Chinese, the Republic of China, so... Um, it is what it is. Cool. It's been actually a very long time since I've actually played vanilla. Uh, but it's been recommended for me to play using the Expert AI sub-mod for months at the time of this recording. I had one subscriber who always asked, when are you going to play? When are you going to play using the Expert AI? I'm like, you know what? Might as well get to it. We have a million manpower. Actually, I played this Japan before, though. I played it, I think, maybe even before Waking the Tiger DLC came out years ago. So it's been a very long time since I've played this Japan, but... It Italy abandons the Naval Treaty. Uh, Mussolini today announced that the Italy would no longer consider itself bound by the Naval Treaties. She had signed the world situation, he said, has made the choices inevitable. Italy's prepared to re receive, already apparently received reliable reports that several neighboring countries have begun aggressive naval expansion programs that have threatened the legitimate Italian interests in the area. The Italian Admiralty has refused to com comment on rumors that several ships are currently under construction or already planned without treaty restrictions in mind. We should review our own. I'm about ready to get rid of this because I really want to... Actually... We, we're Japan. We want to focus pretty well on Navy. Also, I edited all this stuff already. Um, a lot of the ships here that we could make are like destroyers, level 1, and some subs, which is just straight trash. So I'd rather focus on what we can get out now and actually produce better stuff later on. Now, I'm talking about the... I want to talk about the Naval, the naval Treaty weight limit, because I want to get rid of that as soon as possible. Uh, we have Carrier 2s. Carrier 1s are just... They're not that good, to be honest with you. They're really not that good. I want to make this, but we've got to get a little more naval XP first. 0.85 a day, god dang. Uh, I don't want to spend political power yet. Uh, Inter-service rivalry. I know nothing about this stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll focus on one of those things later on. Political advisors. Uh, no, no, no. I'm looking for more political power, which, oh, I really want to grab. We can only get 0.93 a day. I think it'd be worth it to do that. But I'm going to first... Abandon the treaties. Just because we're going to need the best ships possible. If we do get in war with the United States. So my goal for this campaign is to obviously beat up China first. You know, we got to beat the Chinese because it's historical. Uh, secondly, I want to take out the Soviet Union. I want to get all the way to the Urals. Split, split the Soviet Union between me and Germany and then focus on the United States. Maybe. I really don't care about the United States in this campaign. Maybe we'll take out the U.S. Maybe we won't. But they're going to be for a late game when they're really strong to be kind of a challenge later on. So... We'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. We'll make some subs probably eventually, but we'll see what... Why are you... Are you a, oh, oh, you're a heavy cruiser. Oh, why? Why are you a heavy cruiser? I kept them there, though, because we're going to get rid of these guys eventually and try, change them to light cruisers. But for now, we're going to make all these other ships eventually. Oh, my gosh. Look at how many things we have to upgrade here. Level 1. Oh, fire control is at least okay. No radar. At least get level 2 engines. Uh, battleship? Battle cruiser armor? Hmm... The swords are armored by one, but speed just up even further. And you actually still get more HP, so there's no point to not even choose that. Heavy battery, you might as well... Uh, oh man, this this ship is not going to be great. <laughs> I'll let you know that for certain right now. Get another battery. So, that's not great. It's not bad. Could be better. This ship, d design... Oh, let's grab that too. Oh, we need three more XP, which we'll get within like four days. And they'll put it on the thing. Great. No radar. This is our beginner heavy ship, which is fine. That'd be fine. Put it right there. Chukogo. Chukogu. Chu. Chug Oku, maybe. I don't know. Outdated equipment. Just 
just these ships. That's why I got rid of the, I got rid of a lot of the destroyers and stuff here, just because I wanted to produce these ships faster. And these ships that I chose, the remain are okay. St more stability. Guy, the Zaibatsu's actually is pretty good. Players and conference, let's do that one. So, the largest corporations of our nations have had long had unprecedented political and economic power. With some finesse, we may be able to guide their efforts in our favor. Very good. And we'll get some political power after this. Uh, we could test the Soviets, which we will do eventually. Uh, just because we can fight them off here. Which would be kind of nice. Try them out. Uh, prioritize stuff. Inter-service rivalry. The Army and Navy are locked in a vicious conflict over limited resources. We have instituted regular conferences to ensure resources are spent in the right place. Favoring one or the other will have far-reaching consequences. Get more military factories in Okinawa, which... Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Steel for ships. Steel for guns. Naval dockyards, I like that, but we're focusing. We're going to be focusing very hard on our army in this campaign. Air, army air, electronic, mechanical engineering, just grab more research speed. We do have four research slots, so construction, mechanical computing, and planes. Which I thought would be a pretty good thing to do for now. We only have 53 factories, which is not good, but that's okay. Institute indiscriminate conscription. Uh, let's see, military construction speed. Docker goes down. Form raiding regiments. Form special air landing forces. Well, that seems okay for now. While active, that's cool. Paramilitary training, we could do that. I don't really care. London Conference, I don't really care either. Alright. If we're going to make subs, what type of things have we got our subs? we got level 2, that's not bad. Level 2 at minimums. Hey, I'm joining with my cat Binky. Yeah, Binky, doing okay? Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't mind making some submarinos. E eventually. Let's put them in the Japanese theater. Bink, you okay, Bink, Bink? Come on. Yeah. Well, don't fall over. My apologies, my cat wants to sit on my chair. So. And we're out of rubber, of course. Pretty normal for Japan. Uh, what else we can do here? We can test the Soviets right now. We probably want to use some armor. Let's see. We are already on limited exports, which really sucks. I really want to trade away for things. We only have 14 factories to use, which really sucks. But, you know what? I can trade away for maybe a steel? Because I want to make sure we get enough ship production for now. Steel might be worth it. Planes. Well, we can't make planes really, 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 really quickly. Hmm. We'll help with the right, why not? Hopefully we won't need that many planes, especially if we attack China, so. Let's see, over here, we have everyone around there, that's fine. I'm actually going to concentrate the forces right here, because we're going to have our little land war battle. Basic machine tools are always nice to get. Let's grab some more dispersed output, that is good. Anything here? Nope. 100% stability, 100% war support. Is that, wait, is that, oh, national spirits, state Shintoism. Not bad. Uh, less air research speed, which sucks. Militarism is not bad, but not great. And then... Rivalry balance, we lose political power because of them. And consumer goods factors, which is not good. Uh, national mobilization law, war economy, actually would probably be best to go first. New legislation will make military service more ubiquitous, thereby instilling in the people a sense of duty, as well as making the necessity of war clear to them. Yes, good. Let's get some more things here. That'd be good. Uh, you guys, you guys definitely probably need to train, to be honest with you. Yeah, we're going to need them to train, but we need guns, 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 guns. I'm going to get a lot of artillery in this campaign as well, but guns are key to victory for now. And we'll test the Soviets once we get more political power, because I don't want to test them just yet. <sighs> yeah, Japan does not start off that strong. They really don't. 58 factories, not bad. Oh, we actually have some here down here. That's good. And it helps if we go to... We're already on partial mobilization. We're going to war economy. gives us 10% more uh, fuel gain per oil, which would be nice, since I'm already buying more fuel right now. <sighs> I think we're buying more fuel. Yeah? Yeah, we are buying more fuel. Not a lot, but that's okay. You guys, so we have five things of, well, motorized and tanks, but the tanks aren't very good. They have infantry. Hmm. I mean, motorized are 24 combat width, which doesn't make any sense to me at all, but okay, whatever. Uh, let's see if we can do that. We could do more resource extraction gain, but I'm going to get radio first. Reinforce rate's pretty good to get. No pause. Good. Go right there. And I want to convert those divisions that we have currently over there eventually into something else. Let's see. 40. Oh my goodness, the infrastructure here is like so whack. I know I could be building up military factories instead here, but not really interested. Not really interested just yet. All right. Prince of Terror. All right. So now let's get 1.25 a day. That's not bad. And then we're going to test the Soviets. Good. Keep training those guys. The naval experience is, well, not going up any higher. Did I stop them from training? Oh, they must have, oh, they, must, they were just training to get stuff done. Uh, let's see. We got some planes. 
No, uh, that's not bad. That's I've already set this up to be pretty darn good, so... Uh, I'll put you right there then, that's fine. Actually, if anything, we need to put some more screens over here because we have too many capital ships. Hmm, fighters, 36. Close air support or strategic bomb or tactical bombers? Carrier bombers, artillery. What did I choose? I already chose interwar bombers, so tactical bombers are the way to go. Nice. Very good, very good. Yeah, we're going to need some army XP. Hmm. And we have some marines, but... Oh, the horses are 12 combat width, which kind of sucks. 12 combat width for the marines as well, so... We definitely have a lot of room to grow. A lot of room. 59 factories isn't bad, though. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. 15 and 1, not bad, not bad. National mobilization law, good. Uh, another research slot right now would be very beneficial. Government support and control of our research institutions will allow us greater flexibility and productivity in our R&D programs. Yes, please. How many divisions am I making right now? That's a good question. Ten. We're going to need a big old force to take out, or test the Soviets. We might win here, we might not. Especially given the size of how strong our divisions are that I want to use. Maybe it's not a good idea to use them, but these guys are 24 combat with, which actually we need to cut down on. 24 is just not good. We need to get rid of two battalions. It's going to cost us 10 political power. But this is probably a bad idea as well. Actually, are they doing purges yet? Collectivist propaganda, Trotsky plot. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's test the Soviets a little later. I want to see the Great Purge happen first. I forget when that happens. I think it's later in 36, but I can't remember exactly. If that's the case, we could prioritize some stuff first. Really want to prioritize probably the military for now. Building military factories would be so good. Planes, close air support, tactical bombers, that's okay. <sighs> Production for carrier fighters. Carriers, just stuff. No, that's not worth it. Wow, wow, active. 2% more recruitable population, that's pretty good. Draft exemptions. Rating regiments. More attack. I'm thinking this is pretty good to get more military factories early on. Even though I really like those naval dockyards, but we really need more military factories for now. Nice. Because guns, we just need so many. Alright, are we still building up ships? We still are. This one's... One of the carriers is almost done, which is good. Even though this carrier isn't very good. It's it's okay. It's okay. Japanese starting carriers are just okay. They're not really that great. The Japanese fleet isn't great in general, in my mind. It's okay. You know, it works. Nice, we got one done. Then we'll have another one done, and then another one done. I'm going to buy one more steel. Actually, screw it. We'll buy two more. How about the German allies over there, or potential friendly folk? We'll call them good, good, and that's going to help out very well as well. By August 37, we'll have that one done. Well, I'll get this one done soon-ish by the end of November. If the next in two years, oh, it's Spain. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on these guys because I want to help them out. Let's see, horses. Horses might be really good to use right now, just because they can move very quickly over here and they can help hold the line if they really need to. Even though tanks, I'm not gonna send my tanks because we don't have that many, and I want to save them for China. Because China's going to take a lot of tanks. So send the horses for now. They're not as good as anyone else, but it's still good to get some experience here. How many can we send? Four. Four horses. Not bad. And you should be led by a horse dude. Not that guy, because old guards, I hate old guards so much. Uh, let's see. You'll just probably be led by the person already in charge of the group. Yep. Otozo. There we go. Send volunteers. Let's get some army XP. I definitely need some army XP here. Uh, what do we mean? 100? 187? Cool. We'll send in some planes then. If we can afford it, you know. Uh, we'll send 40 of those guys, and then another 40. Uh, actually 50. Go 50. Why not? So the mods I'm using is Expert AI 4.0, Player of the Peace Conferences, State, Trans State Transfer Tool Mod, Colored Buttons, and Colored Events. Those are the five mods that I'm currently using. So, just if you were wondering... Those are the ones that I'm using right now. And we'll hope the Nationalists win, hopefully. Ethiopia was annexed. Actually, that took a while. That took quite a while, but then again, it is Italy. What do you expect? Ah, uh, good. Ah, National Research Policy. Great. Manchurian Project. We could help out Manchuria, but I don't feel like it. Army Expansion Law. That actually would be very beneficial right now for that extra XP. Oh, four, re four, four more duckyards. Oh, we're going to grab this for four more uh, factories. Increasing state control of our war industry will go a long way to improving efficiency and therefore output. Yeah, good idea. After that one, though, co-localization, that actually might be worth doing immediately. We we need we can do that one, too. Total mobilization, which I'm probably not going to do. Spiritual mobilization, maybe eventually. Kami Kami strikes, I'm okay. Production of the Oka. Yokosuka MXY7 Oka. 
cool. I prefer to do this stuff. Send the tripart to T-Tact. Oh, create our own faction. I like that. Demand Indochina, Naval Doctrines, Marco Polo Bridge. I want to get down there quickly. I know I'm not going very historical, I think. I have no idea. I don't remember when they went to war, but we'll see what happens. And Calvary get more defense and breakthrough, which is nice. Anything else over here? Nope. Planes are slow, taking their time to get over here, which is fine. You guys shall be led by Field Marshal under some dude. No. Uh, this person. Takashi Sakai. More attack, because you're, you're going to need it. Y'all's going to need it, man. Uh, actually, if you're going to go that way, you must come over here first. There you go. Good luck. And get a lot of army XP, because you're only, like, literally 12 combat with, which sucks. Oh, the supply is pretty bad around here. U.S. Congress passes Neutrality Act, which is fine. You know, go and hold, then. Just hold. Uh, actually... You can probably help attack right there, actually. Perfect. Get some army XP if you can. Good. Still getting more fuel, which is nice. Even though we should be... Oh, I still haven't trained you guys more. Train. You guys... Oh, we have a carrier. Great. Uh, what if we does not have a carrier? We got a lot of carriers around here. Nice. And let's split up the subs a little bit better than this. I guess I did not split them up earlier. That's fine. Whatever. And boom. There you go. Now nah, it's going to really hurt our fuel. So I'm not going to train the subs yet. Nice. Pretty nice. Very good. Ah, we have a whole army XP. Good. Test the Soviets will do that very soon once we can raise our uh, the battalions or division size with more battalions. Eventually. 36. Uh, better artillery would be pretty good. Uh, we're going to go. Where should we? Are we going to go grand battle plan? We could do that. More defense, more organization. I like the army breakthrough. Even more breakthrough for leg infantry. That's not bad. Less supply consumption will be very, very beneficial. More organization and more recon on your recon, which would be pretty nice. Assault. I don't think I'm going to be using tanks a whole lot. I mean, this gives you more army breakthrough too. But that's just for leg infantry over here too. Uh, I, I always go down superior firepower. I'm gonna let's let's continue going down grand battle plan. I almost never use it, so. I'm not going to go down Mobile Warfare this time, either. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's grab some field hospitals. We're going to need those guys. We're definitely going to need those guys where we are going. Alright, and we're going to grab Military Theorist. Land auction 10%. We... Why would you spend 100 more political power just to get 5% more of a research boost? I don't, I don't know why you would do that. Base strike? If anything, make it, like, maybe 50... Because then it's like, 5% mm, for 50 more political power. Now, that could be pretty worth it. That could be pretty darn worth it. But other than that, man, I don't know. I'm thinking a big NO to me. 16,000 and a half. Not bad. And we've won. we got a total of 3 army XP. Well, we've almost won. And I like using the horses just because they're fast. Alright, please kill them off if you can. Get some radar. Cool. Don't move. More divisions? Come on. Can't you just be made all at the same time? And there they go again. Of course. Cool. And we almost have another one. There we are. Go right ahead. Four army XP. You guys obviously looking nice and thick. Very good. You guys did a great job so far. Let's head over there. Is supply really that bad? Oh, it's mountain. No wonder. That's okay. Uh, yeah, it could be worse. Forests. Mountains. A little bit of less attack, a little bit less defense, that's okay. Just get more army XP for now, that's all that really matters. I almost have 40 plans, which means this is a little bit more of a struggle right now, but whatever. You know what? I think if you put more fighters here, that'd be great. Ah, nationalize the industry. Oh, oh, we already are buying stuff from them. Um, buy from Iran. Uh, do that one, and then we'll get one from Venezuela as well, because I do not want to trade with the U.S. Actually, you know what? Let's continue trading with the U.S. So then they can hurt us later, or be angry at us later. We'll put it like that. They'll be angry at us. Cool. National Defense State. Colonialization. We could probably use that immediately. But, liaison conference. By sending liaisons of all branches of the government and of the military to a central conference, we can greatly increase our decision-making speed. Yeah, sure. Whatever. All right, let's grab this guy. Give me more daily army XP gain, because I'm going to need it. We're going to need it. We already have enough manpower. That's fine, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of these cavalry, because they're going to be pretty useful when we go to war with 
China. And I'm going to go into this as well. There you go. Good. We're going to even need... We're going to need more fuel. Hmm. Japan. Always needs more fuel. Venezuela. That kind of helped out. But not too much. Go ahead and stop creating some more of these guys. we got to get a nice balance point here. We got three. That's fine. Shoot up a little bit. Good. Now, where can we help out? Hmm. I'm thinking right here. Not bad, could make more planes though. Plenty of naval XP. Alright, if that's the case, we gotta make sure we have enough fuel for our planes, so stop, stop. Very good. It's been so long, like I said earlier, since I played as Japan. It's been super, 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 super long. Wow, you take forever. How did the other two get down there already? Uh, they might be getting attacked, so help them out. Oh boy. Oh, that for some reason I thought they couldn't give me my stuff. Alright, so some factories, keep building more stuff, that'll be good. You can send another group over wherever you like. Ah, we're learning, good. Learn, 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 learn. 37, happy 1937, my friends. Let's get some more uh, output. Alright, who can give me this stuff? Iran. Come on, okay, Iraq. Your turn. I love Iraq. How strong is this division? Oh, they're probably like 10 combat with max. Well, let them wait. Oh, the Soviets helping them out. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Oh, that sucks. Es escalator clause invoked. That's kind of good for you guys, I guess. Yeah, are they doing the purge yet? Militarized schools? No, they're not, so that's fine. It's fine to wait some more. Shizuichi. Shizuichi. Huh. Good, y'all winning. Y'all doing a great job. Come over here and help out some more. And Otozo, cavalry leader, infantry leader, trickster, mountaineer, hell's fighter. This is all going to come in handy when we go to war with, J with China. Actually, was it 37 that Japan went to war with China? I thought it was. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't remember. It's been so long. I'm going to be mountaineers, though. Let's see. Oh, yeah, planes. It's fine. Get enough carrier planes. Only need one, really one military factor on them. That'll be fine. The longer we wait, the more just damage we can do in China. That's the way I see it. Gun-wise, we're still not looking good. I don't want to lower this, but I'm going to. There you go. Nice, conference. Uh, so, Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. The time of Western imperialism has come to an end. The people of Asia must band together and strong, strong, stand as a strong, unified continent under our leadership. Asia for the Asiatics. Well, we'll see where we end up. So, now that we helped out the army, military, faster military construction speed, which is okay, even though I'm not even building them up right now, I'm probably going to balance it out with something for, for the dock, for the navy, for the navy, for the navy. I don't want to do that one just because I want this one as well. Raiding regiments? Form special, yeah, dear. well, maybe I'll, we'll wait then. <laughs> There's nothing really there that I'm really interested in. Nothing that would be really, really beneficial for the Navy, for that I, that I really care about. Land doctrine speed, not bad. I'm um, gonna get a little bit more special attack and soft attack. We get lose output and dockyard output. I really don't care about the dockyard output right now. I really don't. I really should care. But I really don't. And you're looking pretty weak. If you could win here, that'd be great. You might be able to. Good, be on the offense as well. Cavalry leader's going up. Good. Cut Melaga off. Ten more army XP. Nice stuff, guys. And since we're here, you might as well make these guys even stronger. Nice. And now we're going to need 20,000 guns? Pretty much. Hey, we drove a wedge between these guys. Beautiful. Actually, they're going to have soldiers there anyways. Just come here. Take the port out. More soldiers, good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to decrease the amount of soldiers we're making. Because we're going to increase the size or convert some of these guys over. Everyone's going to become... Let's see, which one was it? Ho-hai? Uh, we could make them ho-hai. You know what? It's going to hurt us in a very long run. 
in the short term maybe, but yeah, we're gonna need more support equipment too. Well, we won't need all those guns. We will eventually need them, but that's okay. That's nah, okay. Are you guys attacking? How about all but one attack that way? See what you can do. Especially since you're 18 combat with now, and getting just more army XP. Look at that air XP. That looks so nice. We're slowly getting more fuel as well, so that's we're doing. I think we're doing pretty pretty darn well. Still building up a military factory, barely, but we're still building it up. Let's see over here. Actually, what does that say over here? Institute press censorship, more fascism. We could, but I'm not going to do that yet. Over here, press of terror, fascism, da da da. Military factory, dockyard speed, that's not bad. Industry, synthetic oils, we'll probably do that one. What else we got here? In research. Wow, plus 20% of fighter agility? Nice. Or more range, but I think agility is probably better. Uh, this stuff is okay. Naval stuff. Less armor for carriers. This one's not bad. This one is not bad, but not great. That's not good. That's okay. And armor, not really focused on armor right now. Uh, military though. Drill time, more attack, only 5% more. That's still not very much, man. I'll be honest, a lot of this is okay, it's not great. Mm, we're gonna get for infantry eventually, but not yet, because we're only using cavalry, which is not infantry, I believe. Could do that, I like that. Let's just go ahead and grab this, because we get more industrial research speed, which is great. And we're gonna spend so much time with synthetics, it's not even funny. Wow, you guys are having problems over there, aren't you? How many men have we lost? 77, that's actually a lot better than I thought. Field hospitals, great. Great, great, great. Construction speed. And we're actually probably going to go ahead and try to grab some more of this. Since we, we grabbed the uh, company for it, you might as well use it. My goodness. National Spaniards, what is going on with you guys? Look at them. You're attacking, but then you're like, nope, yes, no, yes, no, yes. 1.25 so, not bad. We're going to need more population than just a limited conscription, though. Get our own faction. Pass off the Chinese. So the, my goal against the Chinese is what they normally do is that they just ram against your entire line the entire time. So I'm just like, okay, go ahead. It's fine with me. Let's make these guys L actually a little bit better. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. That's fine. So it saves us on guns, like 10,000, literally 10,000 guns, or maybe more like 9,000 actually. Hey, we take the port. Great. Marco Polo Bridge incident. Es escalate the war, secure China. Sign that. Uh, we could do that. Anything else on the left? No. Army expansion law, modernization. A lot of the stuff here isn't really that great. Division attack and defense. Supremacy of will. Supremacy of technology. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go for supremacy of will. Oh, we get bicycle divisions too. That's nice. Um, you know, let's do this first. I want to keep helping out the Spanish, and then we'll go to war with China eventually. So, army expansion law. Our government must have a sense of must have as one of its core tenets the immediate and drastic increase of our military forces, and then maybe we'll grab those extra dockyards because we can still use them, but even though we can't really support building a bigger navy because we have no steel. It's a big unfortunate. Go ahead and help them out if you can. Go ahead and uh, support the attack there. That's fine. Alright, so do we still need this group up here? Yeah, we kind of do. We're actually running out of fighters, which is really disappointing. Hmm. Hindenburg disaster. Fighters. We just need more military factories. I should be honestly building military factories instead of civilian factories, but whatever. The provisional government of the Mariana Federation? No. Big N-O. Alright, let's save a few more guns. Thank you. And our deficit dropped by about 7,000. Not bad. There you go. Of course, we're going to need a lot more support equipment, but that's okay. Hey, look at that. Good. If you want to, go ahead and train, because you guys are looking pretty pretty mightily weak. Hey! Anarchist Uprising in Spain. Beautiful, my friends. And we're going to grab one more to make these guys nice. 20 combat with division. Ace by the promoted? Good. Hey, you guys are great. We could attack into the mountains. We could attack here. Um, there's really no good place to really attack. I wonder if we can beat up the anarchists here, though. Hmm. I really don't know. Where's a good place to attack next? I think maybe maybe just Granada. A friendly Granada invasion. How about that? Cut off one division. We'll see. Coordinate Lend Lease. Contact the High Command of other countries to coordinate military efforts. Oh, again, Lend Lease. Oh, wait, what? Select a target for coordinating Lend Lease, Lend -Lease National Spain. For your allies. Uh, Lend Lease. Manchu. I would try that. What does that do? Give them stuff? Oh, no, probably. 
Uh, now we're building more military factors up, which is good. Which is a very good thing. You guys definitely going to need a little bit more strength, though. We are at minus 18,000. Not bad. We have a little bit of artillery, which is going to hurt when I swap these guys out for more artillery as well. So, Because I would love to throw on lots of artillery on those guys and some logistics companies and some field hospitals and a lot of other stuff. So, which we got. We have a lot of stuff going on, man. We got a lot of stuff. And you know what? Stop training. Just so you don't ruin your good amount. Minus 20,000. There you go. Disperse Industries. Cool. Resource efficiency gain. We could get more rubber. We could grab more fuel gain. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. We got the research part with my well, right? Can you guys actually win here? Maybe not. I mean, our horses aren't that strong. Uh, Amelia Earhart circumnavigated the globe. Uh, with a little bit of support from the Spanish military. Looks like we can do that pretty well. Good. Good, 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 good. We can only get almost 100 guns a day. That's actually not too bad. 100 guns a day. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, keep an eye on these guys. Uh, workers' culture, militarized schools. Collective is propaganda. Yeah, once they do the Great Purge, it's really going to hurt them. It's good. More army XP. Communist China join the United Chinese Front. Uh, Marco Polo Bridge Incident. We could probably do that. They could actually probably overrun a couple of our places first. But let's do it anyways. Who cares? Marco Polo Bridge Incident. Japan is important in resources, but our neighbors are not. We must take from them what we lack and only require an excuse to begin doing so. Such an excuse could be provided by a few enterprising soldiers, after which the Emperor will have no choice but to ascend to a war, no matter how ill-prepared. That's correct. We are quite ill-prepared for this conflict. Look at how strong some of these divisions are. Not that strong at all. I mean, they are 20 combo with, don't get me wrong. And they got engineers, and they got recon, and stuff like that, but still. Escalate a war, which we are not ready for at all. And all they have are infantry as well. And we're pretty well dug in, so... That's what we want. Go ahead and dig in if you can. Focus on making more guns. We can make some infantry battalions, or divisions, soon. We don't have a lot of artillery. 37. Grab that. We need more cap. With that in mind, we did this. You guys looking pretty good as 20 combat with. What happens if I remove you and actually add in more artillery? That would kill off all the artillery that we would potentially have. That would save us so many guns. But that's probably not a good thing to do. So instead, we'll give them a little bit more strength. Like that. There you go. That actually would save us time to build up more guns. If we have a deficit of artillery, that just means for now, like, we would not be producing any more divisions, which is fine with me. Oh, three combat with. What are you thinking, son? Minimum of 20, man. Minimum. Hey, produce more factories? Yes, please. Uh, 40%. Nah. Right there. There you go. Not bad. Uh, we're producing anything out of date besides ships. Not really. That's good. Still building plenty of ships. Hopefully. Oil processing. Very nice. Go ahead and grab... We could grab more resource efficiency gain. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. Help us out with our own steel. That'll be good. And we won in Granada, which is a nice, nice, nice thing to do. Alright. Plane-wise, we're not really doing... Eh, we're doing okay here-ish now. Southern Iberia, maybe. They still got plenty of planes, even though we actually have, we might have more now. Cool. Going to see if we can attack, and we will end the episode once we win or lose here. Oh, good. The Spanish are helping us out, which they should, since we're trying to help them win their war. So I know this is a mountain, which is really sucks to, to attack too, but maybe we can win. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. If that's the case. We got to move somewhere else then. We're gonna move to here. Push them back over the river, and we shall end this episode with something else over here. Uh, war Industrialist, that's probably going to be the best one we can choose. Non-core manpower would be definitely very helpful. Infantry expert. Offense. Well, we're already attacking, but we can still research stuff as well. It's 37. It'll be 38 soon. That still won't help us with planes. And we're going to go to war soon. Let's get more defense. But I hope you enjoyed today's first episode when we are playing with the Expert AI mod. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow when we will go to war with the Chinese. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.